Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we will be working our way through one of the mini MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I will be walking you through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. Let's talk about each of these terms one by one. Do you recognize this image? This is an image of a KKK meeting, a group of men who do a lot of terrible things back in the past, right? And notice that they're all wearing masks. And the reason they wore masks is because they were doing terrible things, right? Like they wouldn't want to be identified if they were doing some bad thing like killing someone, right? So instead of just going out in their open faces, they put on these masks and actually part of the phenomenon of putting on a mask to make yourself less identifiable is that you're going to get, engage in worse, more risky behavior because you know that now you can't be identified, so what the heck, might as well do something crazy, right? And this phenomenon can be seen in a lot of different scenarios, even scenarios where you're not wearing a mask. For instance, maybe you're hiding behind a computer screen, so you might be more likely to engage in cyberbullying. Or maybe you're just in a very large group, so you feel less identifiable. Any scenario that makes you feel less identifiable is going to result in this phenomenon of de-individuation. Now let's talk about the diffusion of responsibility. I like what this image says. Unless the group you're in is really motivated and the task doesn't suck too much, more often than not, giving many people a task for one, aka a task that one person can accomplish by themselves, accomplishes nothing because everyone thinks somebody else will do it. In this image, we see this guy saying, hey, uh, will one of you guys do this task that one person can do? And as we'd expect, no one's going to do it. And I like how it gives you the better way to do it by saying, point directly at someone instead Asking less people gets more done. So for instance, if this guy were to ask just Bob to get the task done over here, Bob's going to feel 100% of the responsibility for getting that task done, right? He knows that if he doesn't do it, no one else is going to do it. So therefore, he's much more likely to do it. Whereas if he says, okay, somebody just do this task that one person can do, okay? If he says that, then that 100% of the responsibility is divided upon among all these people. Maybe each person only thinks, well, there's, I only have 5% of the responsibility, so that's not much. I'm probably not that important in this scenario, right? So this diffusion of responsibility is referring to the phenomenon in which you feel less responsibility when you're part of a larger group. And this diffusion of responsibility can lead to social loafing. As seen in this image here, we have a bunch of people carrying this big heavy weight. But notice there's two people with their hands in their pocket. They're not doing anything. They are social loafing. Because they feel a diffusion of responsibility, they don't feel the full brunt of that responsibility. They're not engaging in the activity, right? So let's clarify. What's the difference between diffusion of responsibility and social loafing? Diffusion of responsibility is the feeling, right? It's the idea that I don't feel as responsible, whereas social loafing is an action. You're not actively helping because you don't feel enough responsibility. Finally, let's talk about the bystander effect. As stated here, it's a social psychological phenomenon that refers to cases in which individuals do not offer help to a victim. So in this case, there's a guy lying on the ground and all these people are just looking the other way or they're just thinking like, oh, that other person will help or I don't need to help or they're not really actively getting in there and helping, right? So let's think about this. How do the three terms that we already talked about relate to the bystander effect? Well, I believe that they all can lead to this bystander effect, right? So for instance, de-individuation. Let's say that one of these people doesn't come around this area very often, no one knows who they are, so they don't really feel like anyone's gonna be able to identify them if they don't help this person on the ground, right? So maybe that causes them to engage in the bystander effect. Or maybe all these people, because there's a big group, they feel this diffusion of responsibility, so they're not engaging in the act of helping, right? And all of them, because they're not engaging, are actively participating in social loafing, right? None of them are doing anything, they're just relying on the other people to help. I hope that gave you a clear idea of how these very similar terms all relate to each other, yet are very distinct and different. And this is exactly what you should be doing with every single term you encounter in the behavioral sciences section of the MCAT. You want to know how are they similar to each other, 
and how are they different from each other? That's what's going to allow you to succeed on this section because the MCAT is going to test you in a way that makes sure you know the distinct differences between these terms. Okay, let's take a look at the question stem. On YouTube, people write nasty comments because they have a username that is not related to who they are. This can be explained best by which term. So why wouldn't it be the other three answer choices here? Well, the similarity between A, B, and C is that those all involve a scenario where you're trying to get something accomplished and not enough people are participating or not enough people are feeling a sense of responsibility to participate, right? Whereas in this scenario, they're engaging in something bad because they can't be identified. That's a very different scenario. So we can definitely eliminate answer choices A, B, and C. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, stop social loafing and give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We'll see you next time.